interested in this case. They started to interview her shortly after Christmas of 2021. They spoke, spoke with her on three or four occasions. Uh, they were showing up at uh, the Families in Transition uh, program that she was residing at with her children on almost a daily basis. And she had about a week and a half, of, if my math is correct, week and a half time to take off if she so, uh, if she wanted to. She didn't have the means to do so. Uh, she had her children with her. Her family is from Manchester. She grew up in Manchester. She's lived here since about uh, nine years old, went to school in Manchester. All of her ties are to this community. Uh, there's no indication whatsoever that she's a flight risk. Uh, but she does have an issue that she knows has to be dealt with. So I can tell the court, uh, I've had communication with uh, Cynthia Day program uh, down in Nashua. Uh, they're uh, uh, going to evaluate Ms. Montgomery for intake into Cynthia Day. That program would address many of the needs that Ms. Montgomery has um, and also allow her children to be with her uh, because that's a family type of environment. Uh, so what we're asking uh, the court to do is to set bail a PR bail upon her entry into the Cynthia Bay program or a similar type program. Do you have a reason to believe that she would be eligible for Cynthia Day? Uh, I, I can tell the court I spoke with the program. Uh, one of the one of the uh, directors there, um, I spoke to them about whether or not if she was released on bail, could she go into the program? Uh, she indicated it would be a better situation if she was sent directly from Valley Street down to the program. So Ms. Montgomery is asking the court and understanding the situation with Cynthia Day and what uh, what they view as the, the optimal intake position. She's asking the court to set PR bail upon her entry into the program. And it appears that she meets the criteria for entry into the program. But she would need that would require her to have her children with her, right? Uh, no, it does not. It does not. So the children would stay with the mother. They could visit with her as Cynthia Day. Cynthia Day uh, tells me that they have a limit of two children in terms of residing overnight, but all three could visit with her at the program. And Cynthia Day, so they're, they're currently, the state has currently, currently asked that were she to be released, that she check in with the Manchester Police Department daily. You could do that by telephone. She doesn't have a, a car, so she wouldn't be able to drive from Nashua up to Manchester. And I'm, I'm not sure um, of the location of Cynthia Day with respect to the Nashua Police Department in terms of checking in with them as a, as a condition of bail. She could do that by telephone or by Zoom, if that's what the court calls for. And she could sign a release that Cynthia Day would be required to immediately notify the state where she to leave the she program? Would, she would, Your Honor. Um, and she has, she has otherwise no objection to any of the conditions that the state previously requested? No, Your Honor. Uh, all right. Um, and is she, she can be evaluated for that program. And I should say this, the court has made no decisions here, but the court is taking into consideration all of the requests. Um, she can be evaluated for that program while she's incarcerated. She can. In, in fact, uh, I spoke to, uh, I believe her name is uh, Miss Loader from Cynthia Day. I asked her specifically uh, what, what if she was released on bail uh, be, uh, and then enter the program. Uh, Ms. Lauder indicated that's not the best uh, situation for Cynthia Day. That, um, the way they operate, they would, it's better for them if the individual is transported directly from the jail to their program. And, and the fear, Judge, is if someone is released on bail, there's a possibility of uh, some sort of relapse, and then they don't get the benefit of the program. There's reason to believe that substance abuse is an issue that would qualify her for the program. Yes, Your Honor. Um, all right. Is there anything, 
one would like to add? No. Okay. Um, the court will take this under advisement uh, and issue an order uh, probably later today. All right. Thank you very much, everyone.